Hello and welcome. Zevlin here. Let's play a little bit more of our Scandinavia campaign. We just got done beating up on England. So now it's uh, time to deal with the revolt risks that are going on because I'm 104% overextended. I'm not too worried about it, but I do want to take care of it sooner rather than later. Definitely need to take care of these guys as they come up. I'm um, definitely losing some money still. Definitely took out tons of loans to finance that war. on resieging all this crap. A new revolt. Brandenburgian, Brandenburgian. Uh. Okay. Well, I need to take care of this side first. Let's move here. Let's move down here, actually. You... Get on the boat. Boat. Go over here. Now I have a claim on Lubeck. And I would love to take Lubeck. Yeah, I'm, I mean, this has been a, a pipe dream since I started the game. I wanted Lubeck this whole time. But I just don't see how that's going to happen. Because of Austria. I mean, that's it. Austria is going to come kick my butt. Oh, well. Alright, what techs can I get? Alright, military tech. Absolutely, we'll be doing that. I will go ahead and upgrade these soldiers and wait. Let's see, do I want... A little bit more shock or fire? This one has defensive fire and offensive shock. No, it's the same. It's exactly the same defensive across the board. So it's whether I want offensive shock or offensive fire. I think I'm going to take offensive fire. I mean, I focus on shock a lot. It'd be nice to round that out a little bit. It's only one pip, so I don't think it matters all that much. I mean, it would technically be just a slight 0.05 better to have the, the fire. I mean the shock, but oh well. Okay, I want to get rid of one of these guys. You are terrible. You need to be that. Have that guy. Let's see, am I going to be able to beat this guy? I have no idea. I need to wait one more month anyway. merge these two and hope that the one I want stays. It did not. Okay. Well, anyway. Detach. Go here. We'll switch out over here. I want this one. And I definitely want to get rid of this guy. Oh, plus two siege. I mean, that's nice, but not worried about that yet. Yes, mercantilism is right. All right, excellent. Poland versus Pom. Yes, absolutely. Accept. Excellent. Colony self-sustaining. Bohemia, Pomer Pomerania. Not really. Not calling in the emperor, huh? I'm gonna start moving this guy down here, just in case. Whoa, 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 Pomerania. Hold your horses. No, 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 no. Okay, well, I'm going to have to take it then. Move in there. See if I can win this. There's a conversion. 
grab another one. Let's look at tech. Yes, I will definitely take the Diplo tech. Definitely need to catch up on that. The loan's coming due. I have no guy. National Revolt Risk. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and take Missionary Strength. National Revolt Risk would be you know, fantastic right now, but as soon as all these cores are done, I don't need them. I'm going to lose this battle, of course. No, I'm not. Thank you, France. Alright, thanks to France being a pal. I'm not going to lose that. Alright, let's see. You are fighting a bunch of people, but you're winning. Whoa, France. Monster. Look at all those troops. Yeah, I'm just going to get out of here. I don't even want to get caught up in this at all. Alright, let's see. Do I have too many leaders still? No? Good? Alright. Tech. Thought I took this. Alright. Actually, did I have enough for two? That's good. Alright, and I have a colonist I can mess with. So, Terra Incognita, that's unfortunate. I don't really want to buy a leader for that. So I'm going to send him here, send this guy here. Oh, wait, this one wasn't done. It'll be done very, very shortly. Crap, not so shortly. Well, that was a mistake. That could take almost a whole nother year to finish. Eh, this one's not going to really need to be guarded. Hmm, no, that's not good at all. I don't want to take out more loans. I'm barely able to... Uh, well. Okay. Go here. Taking out more loans. Alright, let's start fabricating claims on England again. I want all your stuff. Military access from some dude. Sure, why not? I don't know. Whatever. Alright, you. Go somewhere, like, here. Where am I at force limits wise? Do I still have the force limits guy? I do not. And I can build lots of troops, but I have no money, so I'm gonna hold off. Okay, they're losing one ferocity. That is excellent. Alright, any second now. Could quite possibly finish this month. There it is. Alright, go up here. And send here. There we go. I ought to probably start trying to strengthen this one up a little bit. Next. Maybe not. I don't know. Alright, fine. Out of that war. Plus 25 power in the Baltic. That's nice. Let's check that out. It has been a while since I've checked this out. I only have 28% here now. Oh, I'm crazy overextended. That's probably why. Uh, sure. How are those cores doing? 91%?
couple of months and everything will be okay. There we go. 94, 95. There's a conversion. Let's convert some more things. 97. Lost a claim on Lancashire. Oh well, I'll just reclaim it. There's our cores. Look at that. So much better. Now I have 53% here. Overextension is so bad. Military access from Bohemia. Who are you fighting? Saxony, Hungary, Mainz, the Hansa. No. Revolts. Ah, oh, really? All right, boats. Come over here. Yeah, even though I really want to vassalize them peacefully. I think I'm just going to have to aggressively grab them if I want them. Are they Welsh? They're Welsh. Eh. Uh, I don't really need them. I will lose the legitimacy instead of stability. That'll gain back. It was capped anyway. Gain a few every year. Probably... Time to annex Scotland. Now, I was holding off because my religious unity sucks, and that's just adding four more spots for me to have to convert. I don't think I'll wait. Wait till I'm a little closer. Alright, I need a leader for this guy. Where's a leader? You. You. No leader. Even though that's a terrible leader. I really need some army tradition. Okay, actually go ahead and grab these three extra guys. Alright. New Saxony, declaring war. On Ottawa. Keep that up. Okay, ideas. Mercenary cost, great. Tech, yes. We can have a new cannon. I will go ahead and take that new cannon. And I will just wait to fight this guy. Boom. I'm going to wait a couple months while my morale comes back. And all my cannons have zero morale, so it's going to take a few months. But he's only at negative 21. There's negative 14. Plenty of time. There we go. That's, that's probably good enough. Maybe one more month. There we go. Capped out. Bam. Alright, go attack. I'm actually going to win easily. Finally, for once. Alright, so you go here. You get on the boat. I'd rather than be on this side. A ton of revolt risk in these places, but still some nationalism kicking up. So, rather have it there than here. So here, I'm actually going to um, harsh treatment, so that I don't have to worry about ferrying those guys around as much. All right, I finally have some money, so I can repay two loans. I'm just going to do it. How many loans do I have? Only two more. Not not so bad. Not as bad as I thought. Okay, what's the decision I can do? Pass the Popery Act. Yeah, speaking of guys, you can go right up here. Let's see what that Popery Act is all about. 
Missionary strength. Yeah. Just free missionary strength? Absolutely. Create steering train range. Goods produced. Yeah, I'm not wasting points on those. National manpower modifier would be nice, but eh, it's only 5%. I'm not worried about policies. Oh yeah, I still have the mission to annex Scotland. I should probably get on that. I really do want this religious unity to be, you know, somewhat tolerable first. So many things to convert. Man, I just feel like I'm losing leaders all the time. Okay. Well, at least he's zero. So... He won't be coming into the crown so old. Well, I guess he probably will be, actually, because by the time this guy dies. Hmm. Okay, royal marriage from Scotland, sure. Um, military access from Pomerania, no. Royal, mar royal marriage from Poland? Wait, let's, let's just look. Let's look. Royal marriage, royal marriage, royal marriage. Okay, so... I do have one more relationship. Look at the opinion map mode really fast and see if we can find ourselves a suitable ally. No. Not really. Not really at all, actually. Okay, well that's fine. I may be vassalizing England before I know it anyway. Um, let's top off relations with our guys over here. Improve relations with you. Improve relations with you. Why are you fighting rebels? That is going to be a problem. So I am going to have to take over these. Hey, look at the Inca, they're still pretty big. I'm going to have to take over these provinces at some point. And hopefully they're not spreading down into Africa too far. Looks like Portugal's got that pretty much taken. Timurids, really? Oh wow, I don't think I've ever seen the Timurids that big. And Russia, yeah, you can only see this much of Russia, but Russia's way over here. Russia is fully expanded out. So I don't really want to mess with them. Just focus on England. What is this? Cornish peasants. I suppose I could work on them. They're already plus 200, so let's call him back. Nile rights, lose more legitimacy. Look, I'm already at 97 because, you know, my king died. But. Do... Okay, let's go with improve relations. Is it zero? I'm gonna wait till next month. I'm gonna do something a little gamey here to speed this up since I'm not doing anything else. Alright, I'm going to stop improving relations. How long does it take him to get back? 13 days. So, right when he gets back, well, first I'm gonna do this tax it thing. Yeah, that's fine. I'm going to hit the improve relations button again because I automatically get some opinion when I hit this button. 
and I'll get an opinion when it ticks. And I can do it every month, but I like to do it every other month just so I don't mess up and miss a tick. And there's a revolt. So. Cotton. All right. Go ahead and wait till the first of the year. Do it one more time. It's kind of hard to do. At speed four. A little bit of free Navy tradition. It's nice. About Forty-three. Improved eighty percent or uh, eighty out of a hundred. Do this one more time, maybe. There goes a the military leader. That's fine. Probably ought to grab a conquistador anyway and go explore some stuff. There's a conversion. Man. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Improve. Bam. Okay, so that's enough playing with that. I'm pretty close to finishing, so just a couple more months. All right, so privateer efficiency or gain some prestige. I think I'll take the privateer efficiency. Let's see, that's fine. Tiny bit of extra money never hurt. All right, like one more tick. Let's recall. Let's go ahead and grab this royal marriage. Great. They'll send me the alliance offer. Awesome. I will make them transfer trade to me. How much can I get? 60, 69%, excellent. So I could pro proclaim a guarantee. That's 10, so that'd be 158. This would be 168. What's a gift? I think I may be able to do this. Let's go ahead and send the gift. We need a leader. Where are my leaders? Let's just take this guy. The leader. Move him to here. You move in here. Squish him. There we go. That's how you're supposed to squish pets, or, uh, rebels. I don't know why I was having so much trouble earlier. Okay, so. Offer military access. Bam. There's 10. And. Stupid. Alright. No leader. Can't you see I'm trying to do something, Rebels? All right, go here. Yep, I'll just take that. That's great. All right, where is Proclaim Guarantee? Right here. Proclaim Guarantee. Now at the beginning of the year, I will be able to offer vassalization. So that's not so bad. It's 40% aggressive expansion. Send. Bam. Done. Great. Alright, so I won that. Let's move you back just in case any stupid wars break out. Alright, can I repay all loans? Yes, I can repay all loans. Barely. Alright, so I'm making money. My revolt risk is fairly low. 
most places. Not as low as I'd like, but not too bad. I think I'm doing alright. I took a big bite out of England. Speaking of bites out of England, I need to fabricate more claims. Okay, we'll get a claim on Neva that I will never use. Built tons of troops, tons of buildings. Okay, so yes, let's just keep the same guy. Lose that liberty desire. Lose military power or prestige? Prestige it is. Oh well, our agent was discovered. Okay, so one thing I definitely need to do is rebuild. Yeah, okay, people leaving the coalition against me, that's awesome. I need to rebuild um, my army. I'm getting near to my force limit. I'm gonna wait till I have some money. Let's see, a 12, 5, 7, that's probably pretty good. A 14, 4, 5, that is not very good. I'm actually going to build some more troops right here. We only have five cannons. I'd rather have, like, that many cannons. I definitely need some more horses. There we go. That's all I can build right now. Technology cost. Yes, I will. Please, thank you. And that actually allows me to take the next military tech, so I won't be so far behind. Excellent. Now I'm actually ahead of time by 12 years. Hey, I've caught up. Fantastic. Okay, so they gain Liberty Desire if I keep this guy. I'm not going to do that. Let's make him lose Liberty Desire. I'm going to go ahead and stick with a bureaucratic, bureaucratic candidate. So that maybe they get those expansion ideas fleshed out. Let's take a look at that. What have they done? Trade ideas, expansion ideas, they've done one. Expansion ideas and trade ideas, yes. Trade steering plus 10%, that's nice. My colonies are getting closer to done. Um, can I walk there? I cannot. I need a boat to get there, don't I? Yes, I do. So I'm going to go ahead and send my boats over there so I'm prepared. There's another conversion. Keep that going. And I'm going to go ahead and take a break here. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.